Welcome back. In the last video, we finished our input summary sheet, which includes all the data we have. Now it's time to create the analysis part to retrieve all the data we actually need. Now before we start, let's take a look at the formulas and functions we will use to create that analysis sheet. Now we will use the if formula, the index match and index match match formulas. We will also use the sum product formulas with multiple conditions and I will explain to you what that little dashes right here mean. These formulas will also be combined with a left or right formula. In addition to that, we will talk about basic array formulas, the transpose formula. Further, we will talk about how to combine cells and how to create some nice data lists. Now, this is a lot of information, right? So I decided to split that analysis sheet series into two parts. In the first part, this video, we will only talk about the if formula, about the index match formula and how to combine that with left or right, and about how to combine cells. In the second video, we will talk about the other formulas and by that finish the analysis sheet. Now that we know what formulas and functions we are going to use, let's take a look at what we actually want to do. So we want to create analysis tables. This means that we want to retrieve the information that we actually need in the format that we want. So this means we want the first table in this way. This means we want a list of the countries and the statistics by the different periods. And we want a comparable table for the regions. So all the regions, North America, Asia and so on, and the periods. And the statistics should be retrieved as follows. We want to be able to select the statistic that we want to be displayed right here, like this. And this should be something like a list where we can select the statistic that we want. So this is the final goal of those videos, so those two parts. Let's start and see what we have to do to achieve our goals right here. So I'm back in the input summary sheet we created in the last video. Just to remind you, we have statistics for different periods right here and we have a unique list of all the countries we have statistics for. We have that list of countries three times. So for the first period, for the second period and for the third period. But the list of countries is always equal. That's important to know. Now let's go back to the beginning and think about what else we might have to add to be able to create that analysis tables the way we want them to be. The problem at the moment is the identification of the country. If you would look for a country in column B, this would not be unique because we have all the countries three times. Now, if you want to identify each country, you need to create something like an identifier. And as we have each country for each period only once, a good identifier would be a combination of the period and of the country name or the country ID as you prefer. Let's create something like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column. So I'll select column B and press Ctrl V like this. Let's increase the column width a little bit and write identi identifier because that's what it's going to be. So as we said, we want to create that identifier based on the period and the country ID. Now we talked about that a little bit in the last video and that we can combine cells with an and symbol. This is what we need right here. Let's see how this works. So I'm writing equals. Select the period, write and. Now we need to define how these two cells are separated. So we need a quotation mark and a space maybe. Second quotation mark. And now we have to write the second and and select the country ID like this. If we now press enter, you see that we basically have what we want. So the period and the country ID. But if we copy that formula down now, then this doesn't work because the cell that identifies the period is empty. Now, of course, we could copy down that period, but I don't want to change column A to be honest. So the only thing I want to work on now is column B. So we need another solution. Let's see how we can find that solution by working on the result in column B4, so the one we just selected. So we need to build a condition this means if that cell would be empty, then it should retrieve the period from the previous row right here. 
This is not totally correct and we have to adjust this further probably, but it would be a first step. Let's see how we could do this. So I'll select the formula and write if. And now if A4 is empty, right, if there is nothing in it, the way we have it right here, then the value of the previous row like this should be retrieved. If this is false, so if this cell here is not empty, well, then simply retrieve that value from that cell. Let's now close the if formula and see what happens. Yeah, we are getting closer, but we have one problem. At the moment, we retrieve the entire value of the previous row. So we have the period and the country ID. So we should get rid of that country ID in that formula. And we could do that by adding a left formula to that existing formula. Because the left formula allows us to retrieve a defined number of characters of that previous value in the cell that we can see right here. So let's add that left formula. So we are fine with that. But the only problem is that if that cell is empty, it should not retrieve B3, but left, B3, yes, but only the first, what is it, January to 16, 10 characters, like this. Let's close the left formula. And if that is not true, this is A4. I think this should work now, let's try that. Now this result is exactly what we want to have. If A4 is empty, then give us back the first 10 characters of the previous row, so actually only the period. And if A4 is not empty, well, then give me A4 and combine that result with the country ID. This is great, so we can now press enter, go to the last cell right here, press left, press shift control and the up arrow key and press control down. And now we see that we created our unique identifier, which is defined as the period and the country ID. Now it's time to create the analysis sheet, right? So let's do that by pressing plus right here, dragging that sheet to the left, double clicking it to rename it to analysis maybe. And we actually have already the first two columns because we need the identifier to identify the statistic or the country, the period and the corresponding statistic. And we have that country name. And you remember, we want to build a table that includes the country name. So let's copy that first two columns into that analysis sheet. So I'll select this and that, press Control, Shift and the down arrow key, press Control Z, go back to the analysis sheet and now press Control Alt V. We learned that shortcut in the last videos and press paste link. Now let's select both columns, double click that line to increase the column width. This looks good for the moment, but the next thing we need is the region because we want to have one table with the countries and one table with the regions. Let's write regions first, like this. And we have that regions already, right? Because you remember, in the first video, we imported the input data and a country sheet with some country codes. Let's take a look at that. This is that sheet that we imported. And in the first column, we have those region or continent codes, you can call that as you prefer, for Asia, Europe, and so on. In the second column, we have that country codes. So that codes we just imported from the input summary sheet. So we now need to match, and that's what we're going to do, the country codes we have in the analysis sheet with the country codes right here and retrieve the result from column A. And we also did that in one of the previous videos. We simply need to create an index match formula. Now I explained to you why it's called index match and why I start writing match first because the match part is the one that identifies the country ID in that case, and the index part is the one that retrieves the result, so the regional code. So that's why we start writing match. So I'm writing match like this, and we want to match that. No, we don't want to match that, right? We only want to match the right two characters. So this is kind of the same logic we just had in the input sheet, 
but for the right side now. Well, then let's do that. Let's write right formula like this. So we want to have the right two characters. So the country ID, okay, close that. And we want to match that country ID with the country ID in column B of the country sheet, like this. So we can now write comma and we want to have an exact match actually. I'm just confused because we forgot one bracket right here. Let's do it like this. Now the formula is fine. That's important. You have to be careful about where to put the brackets, of course. But now it's working. So we got the match part. And now we know that the index, so the actual part that retrieves the results, has to be placed before that match part. Like this. So I'm writing index, pressing tab, and selecting the first column like this. So we now write a comma, press enter once and twice, and we see that we retrieved the corresponding region to the country. So US, that's North America. Let's now press F2 and see what references we have to fix. So where we have to make sure that the reference doesn't change if we copy the formula down or to the right. Now the index, well, we can fix that. We will not copy that formula probably, but just to make sure, let's fix that. Because that should always be the first column of the country sheet with the original codes. The match part, so the right section right here, here we should fix the column. Because if we copy the formula down, it is allowed to change. If we copy the formula to the right, it should not change. So let's press F4 three times, like this. And let's press F4 once right here to also fix column B in the country sheet. If we now press enter, select the last cell that contains a value right here with simply control and the down arrow key, go to the right, press shift control and the up arrow key, and press control down. Then we have our overview by regions. This is great. Now we need one more thing actually to then be able to create the tables as the next step. We have the country names, we have the regions, we have the periods in the identifier, and we need the statistics. So the statistics should be displayed right here. And we should be able to now create a list where we can select the statistic that we want. And that should be displayed then right here for the corresponding period of the corresponding country. Now we will learn how we can do this and what functions and formulas we need for the purpose in the next part of that analysis sheet video series. Thanks for watching, hope to see you there, bye bye.